Namo Buddhaya. First of all, I need to ask a question from you. Why do bad things happen always to good people? Now, I know this is a question that most of us have asked from ourselves in our life. So when the miserable things happen to our life, when unexpected things happen to our life, normally we ask from ourselves, why always me? Why these things happen to only to myself? What is the wrong with me? So our great teacher, Supreme Buddha, taught a wonderful fact about the life. Supreme Buddha taught us Sabbe Dhamma Anattati. That means everything is not yourselves. It is not your it is not under your control. So life also not under your control. Remember that. We are living a life. This is not a fantasy. This is not a movie. This is not a dream. This is a real life. The nature of the real life is, it is unpredictable. We don't know what will happen in the next time. Can you guess what will happen in the next time? In the next moment, in the next second? No, no one knows that, right? And also, our life is uncertain. We don't know in the next moment we will lose our life, right? So there's a big mystery about the future, right? So when the miserable things happen to our life, when unexpected things happen to our life, remember, the nature of our mind is to always regret about that, right? We have a greater sensitivity. We have a big sensitivity to the negative side of our life, right? There are so many problems that we face in our life when we are living this, this life. So when we face those problems, when we are going through tough times, when the misery and the unfortune hits our life, we may start to regret about those past miserable memories, right? So what we have to do to get rid of this negativity is Always we need to look for the bright side of our life. There are so many things that we can be happy by thinking about our life. But keeping apart, keeping away all those good things, we always focus on the negative side. That is why most of the people in this outer world, in this society, they are regretting about the small things that happened in our life, in their life. But they have thousands and thousands of things that they can be happy by thinking about. Right? So what we have to do to escape from this negativity is to always focus on the good things about your life as well as the good things about the other's lives. And that is how we practice to bring our thought process from negativity to positivity. And remember, life is unfair, right? We think that we are good people and we expect that good things will happen always to us. But remember, karma and life does not care about you. It doesn't care how good you are or how bad you are and how successful you are, what social status you are in. It doesn't care. It has its own ways. Karma has, has its own ways. So, there will be tough times. And also there will be easy times and happy times. 
Life is like a book, remember. When we are reading a book, we go through sad chapters. We go through happy chapters. We go through adventurous chapters. But if someone met a sad chapter and if, if he stopped reading that book, if he stopped reading that book and keep it away because it, it was a sad chapter, you cannot enjoy the whole essence of the book. Life is also like that. When we are living our life, there will be happy chapters, there will be sad chapters of our life, and also there will be adventurous chapters. But if we stop in the sad chapters of our life, what will happen? We will never make our life successful. Remember that. That is why they say, if you focus on the pain, you will start to suffer. But if you focus on the lesson, you will start to grow. So when the life teaches you hard lessons, tough lessons, right? When you are going through the tough times, problems, maybe they are physical problems, mental problems, social problems, relationship problems, whatever problem it is, you should not make that problem a destination, right? You have to go through them. And that is why they say you will grow through what you go through. So what you have to think is, you need to think this life is unfair. And that is why Supreme Buddha said, Sabbang Paravasang Dukkham. Everything that is under others' control is a suffering. We cannot expect everything will be happen according to our wishes because some things in lives are under others' control. And also Supreme Buddha said, Sadharanang Vihanyanti. That is a great saying of Supreme Buddha. If you expect the fairness from this unfair life, you will end up as an exhausted person. You will end up as a tired and fatigued person because life is unfair and the problem is that we are expecting the fairness from our life. Therefore, do not expect always the fairness in your life. Bad things may always happen to good people and also good things also are happening to the good people. So when the bad things happen to you, what you have to do is bring your focus from negativity to the positivity. Bring your focus from the dark side of your life to the bright side. See, there are so many things that you can be happy by thinking about yourself. I don't know what they are, but there are many things. Everyone has bright side of their life. What we need to do to be happy with ourselves, to make our life a successful one, is to focus on that positivity. The more you focus on the positivity, the more you will become happier. And the more you will be able to make your life and remake your problems and faults in your life and live a happy life forever. So, Bring your focus from the negativity to the positivity and do not expect the fairness from this unfair life. Namo Buddhaya.